were gathered here in Addis for the 15th Annual Grand Challenge Meeting. There are more than a thousand of us here. The meeting is truly unique in trying to harness science and accelerate the fruits of science towards impact. Now, the strategy that the African Academy of Sciences has taken is to uh, push hard on this uh, initiative of Grand Challenges Africa uh, for a range of reasons, to uh, ensure that we are able to attract resources, financial resources, to address the uh, typically the health challenges of the continent. By profession, I'm a medical laboratory scientist, but specialized in epidemiology. I'm doing a research about integrated maternal mobile health using GPS devices to track pastoralist expectant mothers. Our work mainly focuses on infectious diseases and maternal and newborn health. Can we be able to detect at the point of care or in peripheral rural areas, low resource settings, these maternal bacterial infections that have been blamed for almost 40% of premature deliveries and many of the stillbirths. Our strategy as the South African Medical Research Council is driven by the needs of South Africa. So in reality, that's what drives us, what is critical to South Africa, what is a priority, but also what is a priority um, on the global stage. My research uh, is about engaging traditional birth attendants to reduce maternal depression in rural Kenya. And the greatest impact that I have seen among um, pregnant women and among traditional birth attendants, it is the possibility or the effectiveness of training traditional birth attendants to provide psychosocial interventions to pregnant women. The Grand Challenge Ethiopia is an initiative of the uh, Federal Minister of Health, which was launched in 2015. Uh, the intention uh, was to stimulate innovation and uh, to solve the grand challenge of uh, health. In the developed world, strong health systems were not developed by accident, but because of the ingenuity and creativity of people who were eager to see change in the way healthcare is delivered in their context. African youth do not lack the requisite skills and the creativity. What remains is to find a comprehensive mechanism to support these innovative ideas so that they flourish and end up serving our people. We'll try to look at how antimicrobial resistance spreads throughout the environment. We want to look at clinical studies, at uh, environmental samples, including rivers and streams, as well as wastewater. We want to see if we can identify patterns in the data, which will help us understand how antimicrobial resistance spreads and hopefully we can predict how to stop it. A, a big portfolio of our work at the moment is framed around finding solutions for diseases such as malaria and others that are transmitted by mosquitoes. We have to start finding additional technologies, uh, both for finding new cases, in other words, for surveillance, and also for controlling these cases. Africa will need certain solutions that are very practical and are relevant to local conditions. Partnerships are important because when you're building an innovation ecosystem, it can be complex. You've got to find a way of working with all of them. The important thing is that African scientists get a chance to actually work with uh, innovators and other scientists from other parts of the world uh, to test their innovations, to build them up, uh, into viable innovations that can bring impact to society. By leveraging on world-class technical support, the scientists can actually focus on local issues, but be sure that their innovations are going to be globally competitive. We want to see another 10, 15 countries on the continent form their own national grand challenges programs. I would like to see a few companies emerge, some enterprises emerge out of all of this. I would like to visit a hospital and see an innovation, a device, a diagnostic, a vaccine that has actually been supported through the work of the academy, that actually have gone through the entire discovery, development and delivery phases to arrive at a place where it is having a real impact on society.